Hey guys, it's Chica. Look, I feel all refreshed, I look all refreshed, and I am no longer a mess. And either is my desk. Look, it's nice and clean. I finally got those two cocktails worth of alcohol out of my system, so I'm feeling great. <laughs> two things I wanted to share with you guys on my vlog today before I go meet up with friends. I gotta leave in a few minutes, so this is going to be a quick vlog. But one, I just wanted to show you my new shorts that I got. See? Cute, huh? They're very colorful. They make me feel very happy. And you can only see the top half of me usually. So you, I never get to show you like what skirt I'm wearing or what shorts or what pants. Okay, let's stop talking about this because it doesn't matter. I know most of you guys don't care. Moving on to the next topic. I just wanted to share a little story with you and a lesson that I learned the other day. So Friday, it was raining cats and dogs, right? I was at my house and I was cooking dinner, just something really easy, and I really, really needed the long green onions. And so I decided to run to the convenience store, even in the rain, and go get it. So I went over there, got my green onion and a few other things. I come back, and I don't have my keys. I got locked out of my house, or I got locked out of my apartment. Locked out. I got locked out. Locked in って in Locked out I got locked out. I got locked in. I could get into my unit because my unit's not locked since I didn't have my keys. It's just the main entrance. Main no entrance ni So I called a few of my neighbors with the, because you can call from downstairs and have them open the main entrance for you. Uh, none of them answered. Well, actually one answered, but they hung up on me. I was like, oh, I'm from unit, blah, blah, blah. Could you please open, you know? And uh, they don't know me. So this is the lesson I learned. You should get to know your neighbors. I don't know any of my neighbors. This is what happens in Tokyo, because it's not very friendly. I mean, you say hello if you run into them in the elevator, but you don't build relationships or anything. So that guy hung up on me and I was like, oh. Well, someone will come down. Good thing they had windows, because you can see um, if someone's coming down. And there comes this old lady. And I was like, oh, she'll open the door for me. She was just coming down to check her mailbox. But I could at least be like, hey, can you let me in? And I'm nice looking, right? I'm not like suspicious looking, but I was pounding on the window. Maybe I was pounding a little too hard. And I was like, hey, can you let me in? I live upstairs. And she said, go home, go away. <laughs> and I was like, what? Are you serious? Like, is it because I'm wearing sweats and I'm not dressed properly? I mean, I freaking have a plastic bag of green onions. Like, how suspicious could I be? But she was like, no, go home, go away, you whatever. She probably thought since it was raining that I was like some homeless person trying to like find shelter. I don't know, but she ignored me and left. I was kind of devastated and really hurt. チェックしに来てたんです。で、自由便チェック書終わってまた帰る時にあの窓があるのでちょっとノックしてちょっと上に住んでるものなんですけど入れてくれませんかって言ったらすっごい変な顔で見られて帰れ帰れって言われてえみ
隣の方たちに挨拶行くのもなんなんですけどちょっと悲しかったですでまあ鍵は忘れないようにちゃんと気をつけます It's terrible getting locked out of your own house and having your neighbors treat you like you're a bad person or something so I was really hurt and a big lesson I learned was that I should get to know my neighbors even though I've already lived here for six months and it would be kind of weird of me to go knocking on everyone's doors and giving them cookies for all I know they'll think they're poisoned or something it's a little bit uh, sad in a big city like this because you just don't become friends with people that you that live in the same apartment as you it's kind of crazy and so that's what happened to me on Friday I got locked out I hope that you guys never have this problem especially if you're like outside the country and in a place where you can't speak the language very well because yeah you'll look even more suspicious that's my story for you sorry it wasn't really a lesson it was just about me blabbing about my day but I am gonna go meet up with a friend now and so I will see you guys later bye bye